Hi everyone, we are Dixie Ply, and today we will be going over how to use Lustrolite as a shower panel. You will need a second person to help, and there are some standard tools you'll need as well. If you are using Lustrolite on an existing surface, make sure it is thoroughly cleaned and free of defects. Lustrolite is 4mm thick, and you will need to take that into consideration when installing faucets and fittings. All joints must be sealed with a silicone or waterproofing product. You should paint the wall behind the joint with a similar color to the panel. The seam should be done with a neutral cured silicone, and they should be 4mm. This will allow for expansion and contraction of the panel. The panels come with a protective film on both sides. Do not remove the film on either side at this stage. It's very important to understand which side is the front and which side is the back. The clear is the front and the color side is the back, which is the side that is adhered to the wall. Mark all holes and cut lines on top of the film using a felt tip pen. Do not use metal scribes. Clamping the sheet will protect the panel and avoid vibration. Always use a block or board between the clamps to avoid scratching or marking the panel. Big saws are the ideal tool to cut short distances such as outlet openings. Cut the back side of the sheet with the clear side facing down. Use blades that are suitable for cutting plastics or aluminum. If you're using a portable circular saw, cut with the rear side facing up. If you're using a fixed table saw, you should cut the panel with the rear color side facing down. Slightly blunt drill bits work better because they are slower. Always drill from the clear or front side of the sheet to reduce the risk of chipping. Best results will be achieved with a low to medium drill speed. To make smaller holes into larger ones, use a step drill bit at a slow to medium speed. Once the panel has been cut and drilled, edges must be sanded to a smooth finish. At this point, remove the protective film from the back and scuff it with a 240 grit sandpaper in a circular motion. This will ensure better adhesion to the surface. Then clean and remove all dust before applying the tape and silicone. Apply strips of double-sided tape to the length of the back of each panel at about a foot apart. Apply a 6mm bead of translucent neutral cure silicone in a wavy pattern between each strip of tape near the edges of the panel. Increase the wavy pattern as you go down the panel. Run a bead of silicone around any holes, fitting holes, or cutouts. To install the panel, remove the tape liner, then place the base of the panel on 4mm spacers at the base of the shower. This will provide the perfect gap for the expansion joint. Once correctly in place, push the sheet onto position and firmly rub down the panel to ensure the adhesive tape and silicone bond to the wall. After 24 hours, seal the joints with neutral cure silicone. Once the gap is filled, remove the excess silicone with a soft, flexible plastic spatula, then remove the outer protective film in one continuous movement to achieve the best finish. After installation, it's very important to clean the panels to remove adhesive residue from the protective film. Your shower is now complete. For a full installation guide, do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.